175 years. That's how long we have been around capturing events of significant importance, archiving our history throughout the generations, from the past, the present, and to the next. We bring you the news and tell it as it is with integrity. For Hari Kebangsaan and the upcoming Hari Malaysia, let's take a look into our archive and honour our heroes. Some have fallen, some forgotten as time passes by. As disaster strikes around the world, our men and women put their lives on the line in the name of humanity and peace. In 1960, following the departure of Belgian control over Congo, unrest broke due to mutiny in the nation's forced public army. 100,000 Belgians were stuck in Congo. Chaos ensued. The United Nations was requested to help by the Prime Minister in restoring law and order. By October that year, Malaysia deployed its first contingent of 3,500 Malay Special Forces of the then Malayan Armed Forces to help in a peacekeeping mission. The operation lasted for four years, resulted in victory on the Prime Minister and the UN side against the mutineers. However, unrest still continue and our men and women are still there today, continuously keeping peace and order for the safety of the people in that tumultuous nation. October 1993, a raid in Mogadishu by the United States Armed Forces during an ongoing civil war went bad. Two of their Black Hawk helicopters were downed by the Somali militants. An emergency rescue mission was put in place. 100 of our men from the 19th Battalion of the Royal Malay Regiment of the Malaysian Army under the UN Peacekeeping Convoy came in for the rescue. Untold by the popular Hollywood film Black Hawk Down, Malaysian Army played an instrumental role in this rescue mission. The UN convoy was heavily attacked upon entering the Bakara market Mogadishu. Facing with heavy rains of bullets and rocket grenades, the Malaysian Army was the only contingent that was equipped with the strongest armoured vehicle to withstand the assault. However, one of our Condor armoured vehicles was hit by a rocket grenade, killing Corporal Mat Aznan Awang and injuring seven others. Extraction of the trapped soldiers began and by the break of dawn, they escaped Mogadishu. These are just a few of many brave men and women that sacrificed in the name of peace and humanity, not just for us, but the world in crisis. While we lay asleep safely at night, they don't blink their eyes in the faces of danger, blanketed in caution. While we play with our children, they are making sure other people's babies are safe. While we sit and yearn for love, they unite love amongst those faces unfamiliar to them. Let's remember them in our hearts and in our prayers. Indeed, we are stronger together. We thank you and we honour you, our heroes, and we will continuously be there with you, capturing your stories for our future generations. Selamat Hari Kebangsaan and Hari Malaysia. Sincerely from the New Straits Times.